to a turn, there's a pretty good chance that you're always worried of your horse leaning at the barrel, right? So the correct posture, uh, the correct uh, movement with your hands, um, but your seat bones. So I really feel when I'm going up into like, say this be the second barrel over here, like I'm chasing my horse over. I'm trying to stay as tall with my body as I can. But I'm, I'm, I'm into the saddle with the seat bone and I'm pushing this horse with the seat bone forward, 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 forward. And then at about the three quarter point here, I'm switching the seat bone over to this seat bone. I've taught roundness into my horse. So I don't want to be in here to try and finish this turn because that's going to chase my horse to the outside. So in here, I'm, I've shifted over to this side and I've, I'm just kind of pulling, keeping the forward momentum and I'm pushing this horn over here and finishing this barrel with this seat bone. So exercises that you can do over here, Marianne, on the fence. So if I'm going to go and do a sideways movement down the fence, and I'm going that way, I'm not going to go like this to go that way, am I? I'm going to go like this, maybe a little rhythmic pressure to keep my focus. Pushing on that motor back here to go that way. Cutting horse guys, if you're the cow and the cow goes that way, I don't go like this to go to the cow. I'm like going over here to stop this cow. The cow goes that way. I'm on the outside and going here, but this leg here is so important because it's the motor that's gonna make this keep running. Uh, another great exercise um, for me that I really like to put on my horses is I'm gonna roll this horse back. So uh, just go that way, Mary. So what I do is uh, let's go to those. That's because it's my second barrel. So I'm going around here, and I'm I'm trying to get this horse to kiss his tail. But my hand is not moving. My foot's doing the work, and I sit back and I roll out of there. other way. I'm trying to get him to kiss his tail and then I'm going to sit on that seat bone and pluck him out of there. Roll him back over himself. Because I want this same, here we go over here, coming in barrel. Inside, 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 outside. Inside, 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 outside. And I'm giving a little bit of a smooch there because I want him to dig in and squirt off of there. I don't want him and I can feel because you're not getting this. And I can feel him on the backside when I get on the outside. He's going, yeah. Whatever. So if I was to do it in slow over here, I'm chasing him up in here. I'm on my inside seat bone. I'm on my inside, on my inside, on my inside, on my inside, outside. to get better on the on the back side. and same on the first you're coming up into your first here inside 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 outside okay and I'm pushing on that motor back there okay go it's the same same right 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 here watch my outside foot
Do that one more time because I watched you and missed the video. <laughs> Do the other way. I feel that motor when I'm going that other direction. I'm pushing on that motor because you can feel it bulging out. All right. So when I take a hold of them here, I'm just I'm giving them an opportunity to be soft. My hands are actually rocking right now. I'm just giving them, and I can soften them up by just rocking them hands. Pick them up, don't be quick. Push more with your feet. Shake them off that bridle. You can get harder, but take three seconds to get harder. Don't get a hold of them, because we're gonna get that, see right there, we're gonna get that, raise that head, fight you. Okay? Just a little something. Nice. Outside, outside, outside. Nice. Easy. Lots better. Outside, outside. Nice. 